Thank you for joining this quick Getting Started screencast, brought to you by Salesforce Support. List Detective prevents you from sending emails to addresses that are known to be invalid, inactive, or spam traps. If you suspect a valid email address is being blocked, there are two ways to check List Detective. If you are importing subscribers into a list, List Detective checks for invalid, inactive, or spam trap email addresses during the import process, so you'll see right away if there are any problems. However, if you are using data extensions with List Detective, then this check occurs at the time of sending, so you may not immediately see whether there are any problematic email addresses or domains. Here are two ways to check. First, you could use a list import and import any suspected problematic subscribers into a list. Let's check it out. We've already created a CSV file containing two subscriber key and email addresses. We can see that one email address is smith at spam.com, so the list detective will prevent the subscriber key from being imported. Let's test it. Navigate to Email Studio, then Email. Now, Subscribers, then Lists. A list has already been created for this video, so we'll choose that one. Click Import. Click Next. Check the box I Agree, then Next. On this page, let's select the CSV file created for this video and click Next. On this page, we will map the subscriber key from our CSV file with the subscriber key from the destination. We'll do the same mapping for email address. Once this is done, click Next. We'll click Email Me upon Import Completion and we'll add our email address in the box below. Click Begin then finish. After a couple of minutes, you should receive an email, which summarizes the import. In this email, we see the error validation errors list detective 1. This tells us that one of the subscribers in the audience was excluded due to list detective. To see the specific subscriber, review the result file attached to the email. Subscribers that were excluded will have an error code of list detective, and the subscriber key is located in the row data field. Now let's look at a second way to check if list detective is preventing an email send. For this, we will be using Postman and making a REST API call using the endpoint forward slash address forward slash v1 forward slash validate email. For more information on this REST API call and others, see this documentation. We've put a link to these in the short description of this video for you. First, you'll need to get your access token. Once you have it, you can use it to make this REST API call. Here we see two sections, the host and endpoint, as well as the body of the API call. In the body, we used the same email address we tested earlier, smith at spam.com. We used the validator called List Detective Validator, which will check whether or not List Detective prevents an email send to this email address. Now that our REST API call is set up, let's click on Send. We see that the response we are getting confirms that the email is not valid because the List Detective has been triggered for this email. You're now ready to check if List Detective will prevent an email from being sent. For more information, go to help.salesforce.com or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com.